How to fix no audio output devices installed. Error on Windows 11. All right, so if you've opened your Windows 11 laptop or PC and noticed that dreaded message saying no audio output devices installed, don't worry. In this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly what you need to do to get your sound working again. Just follow along with me, and by the end, you should be back to hearing everything loud and clear. So let's start off by heading down to your taskbar and finding the little Windows icon. It's usually down in the bottom left corner. Once you find it, go ahead and right click on it. A menu is going to pop up with a bunch of options. From that list, look for something called Device Manager and click on it. When Device Manager opens, you're going to see a bunch of categories listed out. What you want to find is the one labeled Sound, Video, and Game Controllers. Click the little arrow next to it, and it'll expand to show you all the audio devices that your system knows about. Now, if you see something like Realtek Audio or High Definition Audio Device listed there, that's perfect. Go ahead and right-click on it, and then choose Update Driver from the menu that pops up. Once the update window appears, you're going to select Browse My Computer for Drivers. This option lets you manually choose a driver rather than letting Windows do it automatically. On the next screen, choose Let Me Pick from a List of Available Drivers on My Computer. This is where you'll be able to select Realtek High Definition Audio or whatever driver matches your system's setup. Just make sure it's a compatible audio driver. Click Next, and Windows will go ahead and install the driver. You'll see a quick loading bar, and once that finishes, you can close the window. Now, here's something important. If you see more than one audio device listed under the same category, maybe another Realtek driver or something else like NVIDIA or Intel Audio, go ahead and repeat that same update process for each one. It might feel repetitive, but doing this ensures that your system picks up the correct audio output source and eliminates any conflicts. After all your audio drivers have been updated, it's time for a restart. Trust me, this part is crucial. So hit the Start menu, click the Power button, and choose Restart. This gives Windows a chance to reinitialize all your devices with the updated drivers. Once your system reboots, go ahead and check if the issue is gone. Most of the time, this solves the problem, and your sound should be working just like before. You can double check by clicking the speaker icon in the bottom right corner. If it's no longer grayed out and your output device is listed, you're good to go. That's how you fix the no audio output device is installed error on Windows 11. It's mostly about making sure the right driver is installed and that your system gets a proper reboot afterward. And if this video helped you solve the problem, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more helpful tutorials like this one. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.